Okay, so I wanted to show you a game that we've been playing in my driveway with my kids, uh, Theo and Desmond. We found a bunch of acorns in the yard, which cost nothing to get, and um, we were going to use it to do an underhand throwing skill game where we aim for a tall, kind of kitchen-sized garbage can, and we see how many we can make in the bucket. So, in this game, you definitely want to do an underhand throw, right, from behind the line. Just kind of bringing your hand back, right, and releasing it wherever your hand's pointing, that's the direction it's going to go, okay? So, here's my other kind of warm-up throw. Of course, I missed them both, but we're going to turn it into a game. I've got five acorns left. They each have five acorns. You get one point for each one that goes in the can. We tried to use a more shallow bin before, but they were hopping out a lot. So if you are going to play this game, I recommend something that's a little bit taller because they're less likely to bounce out. Okay? Uh, so here we go. Five throws. Throw number one. All right. One for one. I'll take it. Oh, back rim and out. One for two. One for three. Two for four. Oh, back rim, two for four. So two is the score to beat. Whoever wins the high for the round gets one point. Ready, so Theo is up. Throw number one. Close, one, uh, 0 for one. Ooh, front rim. 0 for three. One for four. Oh, almost ties it up. One for four, good job, Theo. All right, Desmond, you are up. You get five throws. Okay, let's get a fifth one. Good news is there's plenty of acorns with this being full. All right. Try to put a little more arc on it, okay? Over two. It's okay. We got three more tries. Over three, two more. And one more. All right. So since I had two points, Theo had one point, I would have the high for the round. So I am just going to, if I was going to tally it up, Here's my chalk. I would just do a tally here, and we could play to like five or whatever the score is and just take it from there. So give it a try. 